everybody, it's Tammy. Um, I used to be known in church for doing jazz hands when I would speak at church. I would do jazz. Anyways, just reminded me of that. Um, so I'm here today to talk about January. January. That lovely month after Christmas. Life starts to slow down. It's cold outside except when you live in Hawaii. I'd like to be wearing a sweater and boots. I know you all think I'm crazy, but for an Alaska girl, I miss sweaters and boots. So, January. January's been a tough month. Has it been a tough, tough month for your business too? Um, it's been, it's just kind of after the rush of December and November, so kind of January, just kind of, woo, slow down. Well, that's typical. This is retail. It's going to slow down. It's, um, it's January. It's one of the J months, January, June. Um, January is just one of those months that um, it's slow for sales. Online sales, retail, department store sales, it's just a slow month for sales. But what's important is you don't let that slow time um, drag you down and make you just want to take a nap. No naps allowed. By the way, just real quick, I only did one eye with 3D for this video. I don't know why. I'm just putting my mascara on. I was like, you know what? I am going to, and I'll talk about this in a few minutes. I'm going to use this as an excuse for why I only have one eye done. I keep staring at myself in the video and I've got one eye. Anyways, January. Slow month, super slow. Important not to let that affect your business. I know we're all just ready to take a nap, we're ready to take a break after all the craziness of the holidays, but it's important that you keep moving your business forward. Don't give up. If you want next year, November, December, to be crazy good, then you have to still work the slow months to get to the good months. You gotta do it. So here is what I believe. Five things for your business every day. Five things. If you do five things for your business every single day, you can go to bed at night knowing that you worked your business, that you put your effort in, um, that you didn't lay down on the job, that you did what you could that day. So I'm here to give you some ideas of what five things you can do for your business every day. So let's start with the easy one. Host a party. I feel like I say that in every video. Do I say that in every video? Host a party. I guess that's because that's the business we're in. Host a party. Find a hostess. Um, host a party for yourself. We have an amazing hostess rewards this month. Um, mine is on its way to me, flying on an airplane. I hope it's not on the slow boat to Hawaii. Um, I love, if you watched my other video, you know, I love my beauty blender, love my beauty blender. So I am so excited that unique came out with their own version and I can't wait to use it. So yeah, host a party for yourself and earn it, earn your beauty buds, beauty blender buds. I'm telling you, they are awesome. Uh, you can't, you don't want to host a party for yourself and you can't find a hostess, host a fundraiser. I say this all the time too. There is no reason why you should not have a party going all the time, all the time, all the time. Anytime anybody gets on your website, they should be able to find a party. Host a fundraiser. You don't have to have a hostess. You don't have to be, well, well I can't find a hostess. No, host a party for yourself. Host a fundraiser. Fundraisers are run just like a regular party. Um, find a nonprofit organization that you want to support. Um, maybe you have a friend that's going through a really hard time um, with an illness or something else that is going on and you want to host a fundraiser for that person. You can decide it's run just like a regular party and then you decide how much, what the percentage is that you want to donate to those people and you send them a check. Easy peasy. And everybody loves to support um, nonprofits and you know everybody loves to support um, fundraising they just do 
So for, typically I say in my fundraisers that I'm going to don donate 25% of sales, which is my commission, 25% of sales to whatever. That's as easy as it is. You host a party and you just say, this is a fundraiser for whatever, the nonprofit or the person, and I'm going to send whatever percentage to them, to the, to the person after the party's closed. Easy. Um, ho email. Sorry, I was about to say host fundraiser. I just said host fundraiser. Email 10 past customers a day. Past customers. Hey, Susie, how are you liking that mascara? I hope it's working great for you. If you need any tips or tricks, um, please let me know. I'm full of them. I've got YouTube videos and tips that I can give you. Tons. So if you have any problems, if you need any help, please let me know and I will be more than happy to um, get that mascara working perfectly for you and, and let them know um, about the hostess opportunity. Say, hey, oh, I know you love your mascara. You've ordered it three times already. That's awesome. You should totally host a party. Host a party and earn free makeup. Yay, and it's all online. All online. Easy peasy. We don't even have to clean your house. We don't have to cook any food. We just do it online. It's all easy, fun. Grab them in that way. Um, email five past hostesses a day. Let them know about the hostess kudos. See if they'd like to earn more free makeup. Um, if they've done it once, then they know how easy it is to do these online parties. So email five past hostesses a day. Make a list of 50 dream presenters. Dream people that you are like, oh, I wish that they would jump on this crazy train with me and join and they would be amazing at this job. Message, personally message five of them a day, each day. And just let them know you were thinking about them. These are not, you never want to be the person that is annoying that is emailing them, hey, by the way, we've got this great um, comp plan and you should really join us. No, it's all about the relationship and having friends. So make that list and then email them. Let them know you were thinking about them and that you would love it if they would just host a party for you. That's how you get new hostesses. Most of our new presenters come from hostessing a party first. Have you had one of those parties that you've started a party and then halfway through the hostess is like, oh, I can totally do this and make money? Oh my gosh, I want to join. Yes, I've had a couple of those. Mm -hmm. So make your list of 50 dream presenters and mess it personally. Message five of them each day just to reconnect. Um, ask them if they'd like to host a party for you. Just make sure you're building those relationships. Have coffee with a potential new presenter. Have you had a friend in your area that has mentioned how amazing this company, you know, that you're doing online? I have people all the time that say, wow, Tammy, I'm noticing all of your stuff on Facebook and it seems like you're super successful. That's fantastic. And when somebody says that to you, you say, oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. Let's go grab coffee. Coffee date. Mm -hmm. coffee date. It's all about the relationship. Have that coffee date with that girl and just naturally let it come out how much you love your business. Mm -hmm. um, get your local presenters together and have dinner. Do you have a group of local presenters around you that you'd like to um, boost their morale or even just get to know? I know I hosted my Hawaii team training um, a little over a week ago, and it was amazing to meet all of those other Hawaii presenters. And now we've all connected and we're building friendships, and it's just really nice to have them um, to know that you've got the support of other presenters around you. And if it's your downline, that's even better if you're having a dinner with your downline because you're boosting them. And what happens when you boost your downline? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You boost your sales. So host a um, dinner with your local ladies. Um, post on your team page. If you're green or above, you definitely have a team page by now. If you are blue or pink and are starting to build a team, you might have a team page. Um, I know I have some girls in my downline that are 
pink and blue that have their own team pages. Um, post on your team page. Rally the troops. Get them going. We got to get this this train back on track. Offer an incentive for your team. Even a five dollar Starbucks card can generate excitement and make people want to um, boost their morale and and sell. Five dollar Starbucks gift card. That's all. It doesn't have to be something crazy expensive or super fancy. Easy. Five bucks. Make a video. Ta-da! I know. I know. It's a little bit um, nerve-wracking at first. You know, you're talking to yourself. Kind of weird. But the more you show of yourself in your video, your quirky personality, not that I have a quirky personality, um, the more people will want to watch you. And then when people want to watch you, especially if they're in your downline, then you're boosting their morale and they're having fun and they think you're crazy and they like to watch you and you're boosting and your sales are boosting and yay! So make a video. Doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Um, I'm sitting on my bed talking to you about five things to do on your business. You can make makeup tutorials, training videos. Um, I think that the best uh, video to start out with making is an opportunity video um, that you can send out to your friends and post on your Facebook page. And in an opportunity video, it's just going to be you talking a little bit about the company, um, what Unique is, um, who founded it, and then you can talk about how Unique has changed your life, whether it's financially or um, uh, socially. So opportunity video um, is, I think, a really good one to start out with. I know it's kind of crazy, but believe me, uh, making a video can be fun, especially when you get to talking to yourself and you don't know how to edit the video, and so the video just kind of gets a little bit... Anyways, um, learn a new social media platform. Are you stuck on Facebook? Don't be stuck on Facebook. Get out there and, and try Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest and Blogger and all these other uh, social media platforms. There's a billion of them out there now. Um, make sure that if you're doing Instagram and Twitter, you're using hashtags. Hashtags are the way to get yourself into a conversation. So if I'm on Instagram and I have posted a picture of my lashes, I hashtag makeup artist, um, mascara maniac, um, cosmetics, um, skincare, um, the beauty, makeup junkie, hashtag all those things. And then if anybody else clicks on, say they click on makeup, on hashtag makeup in a search that so you're 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 gonna come up because you hashtagged it it's the way to get yourself into the conversation hashtags ladies and if I need to do a video about hashtags um, then I will let me know if you need me to make you a video about hashtags because hashtags are the way of the future um, so if you're doing Instagram or Twitter, go back to your old pictures. You don't even have to put a, post a new one and start hashtagging in the comments. I think you can on Twitter or on Pinterest. Oh my gosh. Now I'm getting all crazy on Instagram. You can have 30 hashtags per picture. So hashtag away ladies. Obviously on Twitter, you are um, limited to 140 characters. I think it is. So you gotta be a little bit more picky about what you hashtag, but hashtag, it's the way to get in. Um, on Pinterest, make a board specifically for Unique. Um, and um, add fun looks that you find on Pinterest and how much you like them. Always make sure that you give credit where credit is due. If it is not Unique products, make sure that it, that is on there. These are not Unique products. If it is a certain makeup artist, make sure that you are um, giving them credit for their work. 
never, there should never be a question about whether or not you did this look, just so you know. So add good, add looks that you like, do the look that you like on yourself and take some selfies and post them on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Get it all going, ladies. Get it going, going, going. Okay, so on your new social media platforms, go find 15 people to follow. Make them people that you should follow. Like make them makeup artists or um, estheticians, skincare. Make them social media gurus. I mean, make them people that you need to watch, but um, 15 new on each one. See where that it's going to start building relationships, build your business. Wear only one eye with 3D mascara. Can you tell which one has 3D mascara on? And this other one is a big seller at Sephora. I'm not sure that we're supposed to name things. I don't know. I have to find that out. Legalities, you know. So this is two coats of a brand that you can buy at Sephora. And this is two coats of 3D fiber lashes. Now, I am using you guys as an excuse so that when I go to school to pick up my children and the other moms are like, um, Tammy, you only got one eye done. You've only got like one false eyelashes or whatever they're going to say. And I'll say, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. So I was making a video for my girls and I only did one eye because I just wanted to show them the dramatic difference between 3D fiber mascara and regular mascara. And I totally forgot to do the other eye before I came to pick up the kids. Ladies, make up excuses. If you do this, you go pick up your kids. You don't have to say that you were making a video. You can say, oh, one of my friends wanted to see um, the difference. And so I just left her house. And that's why I've only got one eye done with 3D fiber mascara. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hope that these have given you some um, good ideas on five things to do for your business every day. See, you can mix it up. Email 10 past customers, go have coffee with a potential, host a party, post in your party. Whatever you want to do, make sure you do five things every single day to keep moving your business forward. Because the last thing I want to see is everybody deciding to take a break in January. It's not break time, ladies. This is rally time. It is rally time. Not break time. It is time to light a fire. Time to keep our business going. We want our business to be good the rest of the year. We have to get it started in January. January. Hello. Who wants to go on a cruise? We have to work for that cruise, girls. I want to go on the cruise with everybody. Let's go cruising, ladies. Let's go cruising. Okay, this has been fun. I hope it's been fun and educational for you. And I hope everybody has a fantastic day and does their five things for their business. Okay. Mwah!